And after being forced to shut down after nearly three decades, Dudley's Cajun Cafe will reopen, but the owner says he's getting creative with his new business model. KTK's James Bowen shows us what this Longview staple is doing to stay open this go around. After a year in the dark, hope at last. I'm looking forward to hopefully they be back. Dudley's Cafe is reopening its doors with a grab and go option. Last year's pandemic spelled what seemed like an end to the restaurant after nearly three decades of service to the Longview community. We've been very fortunate for 28 years. We had a great business. This is the first time we've had a downfall in business. It was only after meeting payroll became difficult and expenses began adding up that Dudley's closed in December. Even though we're a small restaurant, we had 15, on the average, of 15 employees, so our payroll was pretty big. Now, he's chosen the grab and go options to ease his way back into business. We've made a few changes to our menu, nothing drastic. We don't want to mess up what was working. Curbside service is one of the alternatives Dudley's and other local business owners are taking. We're hoping that things will get back to normal. Lang says that customers will only have the grab and go option, as you can see behind me, but in approximately two weeks, they'll be able to enjoy all the marine cuisine delights that their hearts desire. Adapting is their only option to stay in business. I think overall our small businesses are doing quite well. We're seeing a number of them are able to continue to thrive and be successful by being creative and adapting to changing economic conditions or in, a, in this case, the pandemic conditions. And with a state that has reopened, Dudley's, just like many other kitchens, are ready to start taking orders again. James Bowen, KTK News. Dudley's is very good. And they will be at the Art Walk on Thursday in downtown Longview. By mid-July, they hope to reopen their doors for customers to pick up orders. They're located on Highway 80, by the way.